It's time for the transfer rater. Shaka's with me to go through the latest rumours. Shaka, we've started out with David De Gea. Uh, we've been talking about him for a while. Everyone's been thinking that he's uh, about to move on from Manchester United after another high-profile error against Chelsea. Is it time? PSG waiting with a huge offer. Yeah, uh, I think so. And this makes a lot of sense. Now, there are a couple of arguments to this very same topic here as it relates to PSG. When you speak to Gab Marcotti, he thinks financial fair play and the amount of money that they pay are, are currently paying uh, Gigi Buffon means that this isn't a realistic option. On the other hand, you speak to Julian Laurent, who's um, be, well, who, who is French and follows PSG quite closely. He doesn't think that the restrictions um, are, are all that daunting to, to the PSG board right now. He feels that there are ways they can get over it and that the implications are being blown out of proportion. So I, I'm just going to sit on the fence as far as that goes. Just in terms of a signing, I think this makes an awful lot of sense. I think De Gea is emotionally checked out of Old Trafford. He, he's going somewhere, as far as I'm concerned, this, this summer. Um, PSG, for me, the most likely option. Um, option number two is Israel Madrid. They have their issues. Can they move Courtois? I think they can. But as of right now, this just, PSG just seems the most likely of, of his destination. Yes, yeah, so talking about uh, wages of possibly £90 million over four years, mm. we have a 400 grand a week, and then they've got to pay maybe about £50 million to get him out of Old Trafford uh, because they can execute mm -hmm. their clause this year to keep him there, if not for another year. Rakitic. Now, he's been making noises about wanting to stay at Barcelona most recently, uh, just turned 31, mm -hmm. joined them uh, the year that they won the treble, five years at the club. What do you think? Uh, to leave, this is a miss. Listen, I, I understand there'll be any number of, of interested parties and in, in Ivan Rakitic willing to maybe offer him longer deals and Barcelona may be prepared to offer. Um, and, and as much as Barca may have some youth that they can call on, I, I don't think that, that even a club like Barcelona are willing to let go of some of their senior players who you know you can count on. The one thing you get from Rakitic is a certain sense of consistency. Whether you can get that with anybody else who they have now or who they may bring in is still a question that they can't answer right now. I, I don't see him leaving, not, not right now, maybe in another year. Okay. Otamendi is a player who has not been playing as much uh, as he would have liked recently. Mm. Does he fit Pep Guardiola long term? Does he fit Manchester City? Is now the right time for him to step away? Well, there's a lot of context to this. Otamendi, you're right, not playing anywhere near as much as I'm sure he would like. He's probably saying to his agent, listen, find me a way out of here if I, if I can't, if I can't find, get, get a game. The, the trouble is when you look at Manchester City's centre-backs, Laporte, who's, who's uh, become Guardiola's favourite and... and will we'll, we'll start almost every single game. You've got Stones, who's, who's been in and out. Vincent Company, who, if fit, I, I'm sure Guardiola would prefer to lean on. But he's had his injury issues. Speaking of older players, Company certainly fits that bill. I have a feeling that that Company may retire at the end of the season. It would be a fantastic way for him to go if City, if City do, do win the title. There is also talk of Eric Garcia being bumped up from the youth team into the first team squad. Um, but again, that's a question mark. I, I'm going to put this down as a miss to leave right now. I just feel there are too many unanswered questions around letting somebody go. Yes, City can spend money, but I, I, right now I'm, I'm leaning on miss. Okay. Rafael Varane, is he now thinking that Zinedine Zidane being back at Real Madrid might be a, a good thing long term for him? Of course, they're in the right mess. Listen, I, I'll be honest, these next two are quite easy and quite simple. I don't think Varane ever wanted to go. I, I think he is making noise, or is he just making noise, as they do in terms of wanting a new contract. But I think it's a good fit when you're one of the best centre backs in, in world football and you're playing in one of the biggest clubs in world football. It, 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 it's not. It's not going to happen for me. Okay. Moise Keane to Inter, possibly with a part exchange of Mauro Riccardi going the other way to Juventus. Is that future over present? Um, I'm going to put this one down as a miss again. And Moise Keane, listen, contract running out, some saying he's an Inter Milan fan, but when you have one of the brightest young talents on your books, even when that contract is running out and you're the biggest club without question in Italian football, you spend whatever you need to to keep him there. 
That doesn't make sense. Maybe they have other short-term needs, like Icardi, but I think you find another way to get that done. Okay. Very considered, as always, from Shaka. I appreciate that, Shaka. Uh, we've got three to two today of uh, these coming off. Varane to stay, De Gea to leave. Definite for Shaka on the transfer rate up.